what this is doing is is incentivizing and pushing a healthy family unit. Republican State Rep Brian Slayton proposing a bill in the Texas House that would give a tax break to couples based on how many kids they have. I come from East Texas. We have biblical values there where we want people to get married, stay married, be fruitful and multiply. HB 2889 would reward exactly that. Parents with four kids would qualify for a 40% property tax discount, and it goes up from there. With 10 kids, your house becomes tax-free, a benefit that continues even after your kids become adults. I think we need to um, incentivize more children. Yes, I am worried a little bit about our birth rate. But here's the part that has many doing a double take. In order to qualify, the couple must be a man and a woman legally married to each other, neither of whom has ever been divorced. Why did you decide to limit the scope to heterosexual couples only, as well as to those who haven't been divorced? The bottom line, what we see is children do better when they have their mother and their father in the same home with them. Equality Texas CEO Ricardo Martinez calling the bill homophobic, saying he's dismayed but not surprised. I do think that there comes a point when anti-trans, anti-LGBTQ animus becomes kind of a full-blown creepy obsession. He says he's most worried about the message it sends. I'm concerned about just the stigma that it continues to perpetuate, right? And it leads to increased bullying, harassment, violence. Constitutional law professor Eddie Carter says the bill clearly conflicts with marriage equality. A person has the right to marry uh, the individual of their choice, regardless of gender. Uh, and this bill flies in the face of that Supreme Court ruling. Is this bill constitutional? It's hard to imagine any circumstance under which this particular bill would be considered constitutionally valid. We can have that discussion and th they can have that discussion in court. It's possible the bill could be altered in committee to appeal to a wider group of Republicans, but Martinez confident yeah. most Texans will oppose it. To have someone with this much power um, really signaling uh, to our community that we are not good enough, intentionally erasing us from a conversation, I think goes uh, against what Texans believe, and it's shameful.